Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. Christine is off. The mayor is trying to push forward with city business despite the historic nature of his criminal indictment. In a lower Manhattan courtroom today, the mayor pleaded not guilty to federal bribery, conspiracy and campaign finance charges. And now new information after his chief advisor, Ingrid Lewis Martin, had her home searched and her phone seized by federal agents. We have team coverage of today's big developments. Let's start with Lori Bordenaro at Gracie Mansion tonight. Maurice Ingrid Lewis Martin says she's done nothing wrong and plans to stick by Mayor Adams, who went back to work after court. Mayor Eric Adams back to business, attending a birthday party at a Harlem senior center, just hours after pleading not guilty to federal corruption charges. The mayor gave a thumbs up outside the courthouse while his attorney condemned the charges. This case isn't even a real case. This is the airline upgrade corruption case. According to the indictment, Mayor Adams sought and accepted improper gifts, like more than $100,000 in luxury travel and illegal campaign contributions from wealthy foreign business people and at least one Turkish government official in exchange for his political influence. There are no emails, text messages or any corroboration whatsoever that the mayor knew about anything having to do with these campaign donations. The next week we'll be filing a motion to dismiss. We expect these charges to be dismissed. The investigation into the alleged corruption plaguing the Adams administration is widening. On Friday, investigators searched the Brooklyn home of Ingrid Lewis Martin, the mayor's longtime friend and chief advisor. Police, they were watching the house, they were taking out files and stuff. Lewis Martin spoke on her attorney's radio show later in the day. She says her phone was seized at the airport Friday morning as she returned home from Japan. Federal authorities also served her with a subpoena. I don't know anything. I've done nothing. And I don't think that there's anything to know. None of us are perfect. We are far from perfect because we're human beings. We are imperfect, but we're not thieves. Lewis Martin's attorney says she is not the target of the investigation. As for Mayor Adams, he is scheduled to be back in court on Wednesday. On the Upper East Side, Lori Bordenero, CBS News, New York. Tonight, many people are wondering whether the mayor can hang on to the job and for how long. Adams faced even more calls today to resign, but he insists he's not going anywhere. Dick Brennan here now with more on how Adams is trying to push through all this. Dick. Well, Maurice, we can tell you that innocent until proven guilty, the most important words in our justice system. But what about running the city of New York? Can Eric Adams pull off the juggling act? Depends on who you ask. Facing a federal indictment and investigation still swirling around his administration, the pressure is building on Mayor Adams. Despite a court appearance today, he's determined to go about the business of the city, a kind of what-me-worry pose, but the demands for his resignation will only get louder. Can the mayor survive this? The mayor can survive this. The problem is what happens when the other investigations are concluded, when the arrests are made, which is likely of the four other investigations involving city officials in his administration. Governor Hochul theoretically has the power to remove Adams from office, but has not indicated she would take that major step. And the man next in line to take over, if necessary, says Adams needs to do some soul searching. Can you do the job of making government continue to run? Uh, and can you continue to uh, exude trust for the people of the city of New York? Those are questions that I'm hoping the mayor's really grappling with it in earnest. Some legal experts say while the case made in the indictment appears strong, it's not a slam dunk. An indictment is evidence of nothing. So the mayor should not be forced to leave his job. He should be able to fight these charges as long as he's able to also represent the interests of the people of the city of New York. Adams' attorneys would be happy to make it all go away and will try that legal long shot, the motion to dismiss. It would be great for Eric Adams if his case were dismissed. Is it likely? This is too big. This is the office that took down Senator Bob Menendez from New Jersey just a few weeks ago. This is a big one. And are they going to give up easy? The answer is the feds never give up easy. And in that court hearing next Wednesday, Adams' attorneys say he will be demanding evidence from the prosecution in addition, once again, to asking the judge to throw the whole case out. Maurice. Okay, Dick, thank you. And for the latest on the mayor, including the full indictment and a breakdown of the major players in the investigations, head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com.